Hello and welcome. We got a big one today, folks. So I got a couple of these little hexagon wall hanging thingies from uh, Dollar Tree. And I've already made this cool little 3D wall hanging with resin and guitar picks. And there's some foil tape in there too. Uh, really pleased with the way this turned out. So I want to do more like this, but I want to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to be using some guitar picks again, but not quite as many. And I'm going to be using these little uh, jewel thingies and more foil tape. Did I say that? Uh, whatever. More foil tape. Um, so basically how this is done is first what I do is I'll paint this black. I'm going to do two of these, by the way. And uh, so paint that black. Then I'm going to pour about a millimeter thick of uh, base color with resin, mica powder. Uh, then I'm going to do a layer of guitar picks and foil tape or whatever. Then I'm going to do a layer of clear, about a millimeter or two thick. And wash, rinse, repeat until I've got a full picture. So, you know, it's kind of like a 3D art thing. You can see the different layers and dimensions of it. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a very long process. It's probably going to take at least a week because, you know, you got to wait a whole day for each layer of resin to cure. Um, so let's get started.
So our final layer is cured up and we're looking pretty good. I'm really pleased with the way these turned out. So a couple things. One thing I didn't anticipate is these beads here. And I don't know if the camera is even going to pick this up or not, but they're originally one second. They're originally uh, not beads, anyway, uh, gems, whatever. They're originally like faceted, three dimensional. That pretty much went away when I put them in resin. Uh, that happened on both the blue and the gold. And so they kind of just went flat. They still look cool, you know, I'm not complaining. But uh, they lost their three-dimensional look under the resin. I'm not sure why. Uh, the actual bead itself is colored. I could see it doing that if the, uh, the faceted part uh, was clear. But it's colored. I shaved the back off. And sure enough, the actual plastic that gives it the 3D shape is colored gold. So I don't know why the uh, facets and stuff went away, but you know, oh well, still looks pretty cool. And uh, there's some real tiny bubbles. I seriously doubt the camera will pick that up, but you know, you're going to have that with resin. It's a typical thing. Uh, pleased with the way they turned out. I kind of like this one better, just the color scheme and everything. But uh, yeah, these are going to be a great addition to uh, the guitar pick thing that I made. And uh, yeah, so the last layer that I poured on video wasn't quite deep enough. So I had to go back later and do another layer because this the alien was kind of sticking up a little bit. And I mean, it looked okay like that, but where it was coming up kind of tended to distort the, uh, the little gems and the, uh, foil tape there. So I figured it would just be better to go ahead and slap another layer on there and make it all flat. And, uh, so yeah, they turned out good. I really want to do more stuff like this where you put 3D objects into resin and can use it as a wall hanging or maybe even like a diorama. I kind of want to do like a little fish tank kind of thing, get some little fish to put in and make like a little resin aquarium. That would be cool. There's so many possibilities, but uh, yeah, this was a really long process. It took a little over a week. You know, pouring a layer here, pouring a layer there, in between, you know, work, my work schedule and everything, you know, it took, it took a while, but it was worth it. I like them. And I'm going to do more stuff like this in the future. So, as usual, to end the video, we're going to do a close up and that'll be it. Hope everybody enjoyed process of these beautiful alien doohickeys and see you next time.